The world of science and technology has allowed modern day miracles for people of all backgrounds all around the world and has helped the human race to better understand its place in the universe and the mysteries that surround us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over a number of recent scientific discoveries that have helped the human race to evolve in the modern day and reach new heights of discovery and breakthrough. New Brain Implant for Parkinson's One of the most amazing breakthroughs in neurological sciences is that of the new brain implant for those suffering from Parkinson's. This implant relies on a theory in neurosciences known as deep brain stimulation. The way deep brain stimulation works is by implanting electrodes in the brain that send tiny amounts of electrical impulses to specific targeted areas of the brain and specific neurons. Though researchers are not entirely aware of all of the mechanisms that allow the device to work, it has led to improved control in those facing issues with their own motor control and sporadic uncontrollable movements. This has led to lasting treatment with those affected by Parkinson's to use this new method of deep brain stimulation to help them control or even remove sporadic uncontrollable movement altogether. Additionally, such treatment has proven to be effective in treating other such issues of brain function as well, such as that of dystonia, obsessive compulsive disorder, and epilepsy. Though the technology has been around for quite some time, new breakthroughs in this technology are proving to find more effective methods using deep brain stimulation for patients all around the world and, very soon, the medical field is expected to come up with new and more efficient ways to use implanted electrodes to stop the symptoms altogether. A 3D printed heart One of the main issues facing the medical field has always been that of new organ transplants needed for patients, but there never seems to be enough donors to meet the demands for those hospitalized for a wide variety of issues. This has proven to be a growing problem as well as the number one health concern and killer for those living in well-developed countries from around the world is typically that of heart disease and other heart-related issues. In April of 2019, however, a group of Israeli researchers helped to make breakthroughs in that of 3D printing a heart made entirely from human cells. They were able to create a heart the size of a rabbit's to help serve as a proof of concept of their new research and believe that if their machine is scaled up, it could create human hearts on a massive scale. Before, scientists were able to make human hearts only by using techniques to help repair damaged hearts while being unable to create new blood vessels or lacking cells altogether. These new insights, however, are capable of 3D printing hearts that contain cells, blood vessels, chambers and other structures that hearts need to function normally. Antidote for the box jellyfish Though many might believe that the world's most venomous creature is that of a snake or a spider, the truth is, however, that the world's most venomous creature is that of the box jellyfish. Holding more poison in a single sting to kill 60 full-grown adults, the box jellyfish has always been a death sentence to those that found themselves unlucky enough to fall to its grasp. Recently, however, researchers have found a way to counteract the poisons and create an antidote for those affected, saving a number of lives in the process. This antidote was created using genome editing techniques and the use of human cells to find ways to counteract the poisons, becoming one of the first venoms in the world to undergo a molecular dissection and testing to break down such a compound and understand how it can be stopped. This not only helped with the formation of an antidote, but has led to new techniques in how other types of venoms can be combated against in the near future. A wound sealing glue. Referred to by researchers as the first ever bio glue, Chinese scientists have developed a type of glue that is capable of sealing up torn tissue and wounds, including that of heart tissue in a still beating heart. Tests using this new bio glue has shown that it is far safer and far more effective than any other wound suturing techniques in medicine and has the capability in sealing once-believed life-threatening wounds to the heart in a matter of a few seconds. 
allowing the heart to regain function much faster and naturally heal over time. This could not only prove to save many lives, but is believed to have possible application for the construction of new tissues and the sealing of many different types of wounds that have previously proven to be a very fatal incision. The bioglue is not only capable of healing those of damaged and torn heart tissues, but has also proven to seal damaged arteries to prevent the loss of blood within a patient, proving to be a new major change in that of trauma disasters and the medical field. The Moon's Hidden Interior Due to the recent efforts by the Chinese Space Agency, comprehensive data surrounding the Moon's hidden interior has been uncovered that researchers believe might help to better understand how the Moon had been formed. China's U-22 rover, the first ever lunar rover that has journeyed on the far side of the Moon, has allowed Chinese researchers to gather information surrounding the interior of the Moon using wavelength of light reflecting off of minerals located deep within a 115-mile-wide crater on the dark side of the Moon that has shown a vast difference in minerals between what has commonly been found on the surface of the Moon and that crystalline structures might be found within the Moon's mantle. The new minerals discovered are revealed to be olivine and low-calcium pyroxene, that helps to match a number of existing theories surrounding the composition of the upper lunar mantle and helps to support the theory of magma oceans having once existed on the surface of the moon hundreds of miles deep that has cooled over time to form these layers within the moon. A measure of two qubit operations. One of the biggest breakthroughs in computational growth is for researchers to uncover the possible secrets of quantum computing to help allow computational devices to handle the processing of information at speeds much faster than the speed of light and handle a countless number of computations in a single instance. This is done by using multiple qubits in sequence to help explore orders of magnitude of computations with each number qubit added, a theoretical system that has often been an issue among researchers in the modern day. Interestingly enough, one of the most incredible breakthroughs in that of quantum computing has been that engineers for the first time have been able to measure the accuracy of two qubits in silicon and has proven that it works. If engineers can figure out a way to create a 64 qubit system, they will be able to unlock computational powers that far exceed the collection of even the most advanced supercomputers in the modern day. the farthest object visited in the solar system. Though the last time it made media news was when the New Horizons spacecraft did a flyby past the dwarf planet of Pluto, the farthest celestial body within the solar system at its time, it appears that the New Horizons spacecraft has discovered other bodies at records no spacecraft has ever been capable of in the past. This is evident when analysing the spacecraft's recent discovery passing by the farthest visited object in our solar system, the 2014 MU69. In fact, the New Horizons spacecraft principal investigator, Alan Stern, was quoted as saying that a record has been overwhelmingly set by the spacecraft exploring something so far away. He later clarified that the New Horizons spacecraft is more than a billion miles further out than the dwarf planet of Pluto, and that the spacecraft is well on its way to visit the Kuiper Belt. Additionally, the passing by of Pluto is the first ever recorded instance of a celestial body being discovered after the launching of the spacecraft that would explore its surface. These new breakthroughs in space exploration will help researchers to better understand our solar system as we uncover more bodies resting out in the Kuiper Belt and their minerals. A breakthrough in synthetic bacteria. By gathering a culture of E. coli, scientists from Cambridge University were able to create one of the most synthetic forms of life by using gene editing techniques in the bacterium and replacing a number of chemical compounds in the bacterium. The techniques took the span of several stages across the development of the bacteria that had researchers slowly go through sections of the DNA and begin editing compounds one by one over several months. 
Many researchers believed that it would be impossible to create a stable bacteria by editing so many sections of its genome, as well as the fact that such an endeavor had ever been attempted before. Fortunately enough, as the team worked at editing the bacteria bit by bit, they slowly created the most synthetic form of life in the modern day from the E. coli culture. Though the new bacteria is hardly related to its ancestor, having a reproduction rate of 1.6 times slower than E. coli and much longer in general, they are capable of producing the same proteins as the non-edited genome cultures, proving that further efforts in gene editing can be done. But what do you all think of these incredible scientific discoveries made by researchers from around the world? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.